queries have a lot more flexibility than just filtering in or filtering out information as we just learned in the previous training video by using different operators like greater than or less than or equal to. You can also create what are called calculated fields. In other words, let me introduce you to my query over here. It's called the pay rates. Double click, open it up. I've got the employee's last name, first name, and how many hours they worked this week and also their hourly rate. Well, what I'd like to do is create an additional field and calculate those two fields to get their total pay for that week. So I want to multiply their hours by their total hourly rate. Now this has nothing to do with the tables because the tables don't have that already configured. I can actually do my calculations within the query. To do so I need to go to the design view, click on the view button here on the home tab in the views group, go to the design view, and then what we're used to previously when we were learning about queries is double clicking on the fields adding them down below. Well we have no field from the tables that automatically multiplies that information. We have to do it within the query here. So what I'm going to do is click in a blank field. See I'm on the field row here. I clicked in a blank field, the next adjacent blank field to my hourly rate. And I want to go ahead and create a calculation here. Now the long way is pretty basic is to right click on that field and left click on the build button because what we want to do is we want to build a formula here that will actually calculate or multiply our weekly hours by the hourly rate. So left click on build pulls up a little expression builder here and what we want to do is to be able to create an expression here and if you already know how to work in Excel and create and use functions and formulas in there it's the same thing here. That's why I urge you to watch Excel because the first thing when it comes to calculations is that we always want to have it equal something. So we click on the equals button here or you can type it in it doesn't matter either way. So it equals and the folder down below that we're currently in or the file is the pay rates query right and in that file we have a list of fields here and you can see them down below. So the list of fields I would like is first I want to be able to say the weekly hours if I double click on that it adds it up at the top in brackets so we have equals weekly hours we want to multiply it and the symbol for that is the asterisk again this is all stuff you'd learn in Excel which is a lot easier to get the basics of doing your functions and formulas which access not only does calculations but additional things as you're learning as we go here so equals weekly hours multiplied by what field well it's the hourly rate double click on that adds it up at the top and then just simply go ahead and click OK you see how the cursor is flashing within that field hit the tab key and it does two things first of all it validates to make sure that your expression that you entered in or the formula makes sense if it does you don't get a pop-up error okay then it also added a colon and to the left of that a default name the default name is expression one or expr one well that's gonna make no sense to me when I go ahead and I view this in the datasheet view what does that mean let me show you what I'm talking about let's go ahead and click on the run button you see this over here it has expression one this is column expression one if I have somebody else in the database or I created this and a couple of months later I come back in and go well gosh what's this referring to I don't know also if you look at the numbers here it's not in currency format so I could also change the format as well because 75 times 40 equals 3000 so at least that makes sense but as far as the data here or in the data sheet view I want to clean this up a bit I just don't want expression here so let me go back to my design view and let's make some changes. I can come in here and I want to click and delete everything before the colon there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's right click on it and left click on zoom so it pops it up before us here. So I have my expression and notice where's the equal sign? The equal sign's not there, is it? Not only did it remove the equal sign, but also add the colon and the text in front of the colon, which is no longer going to be called expression one, but it's going to be called my, let's say, weekly gross. And then click OK. Hit the tab key on the keyboard to make sure it accepts it and then go ahead and click on the run button and there it is weekly gross okay. now if you can't see the column here because some of its cut off you can actually hover your mouse and again this is stuff you'd learn in Excel that I assume that you'd probably be familiar with or already know or want to experiment with is that you can actually click and drag that over just a little bit or double click really fast and automatically does what's called an auto fit automatically fits it to the length of uh, the information within that column okay I want this in currency now let me go back to my design view to change it to currency I need to bring up the properties of the cell so I can right click go down and left click on properties it brings up what's called a property sheet it's the properties the formatting um, decimals everything that's related or can be related to that field that I just you know right clicked on and selected properties so the format I can click in that adjacent field to get a drop down arrow click on the drop down arrow say I'd like it in currency and then I can go ahead and close out of it and of course you could always again in any field that I have clicked down below I can come up to its related contextual design tab which is the query tools come over to the show hide group and click on property sheet brings it back up I'm going to close out of it and click on the run button 
Now everything's in currency. It looks a lot cleaner now with a little bit of tweaking here. So when you're finished, be sure to go ahead and save your work. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.